Uh, sorry, it's a little bit late. I'm making a train wreck over here, spilling coffee. <laughs> it was, it's been tough so far. Anyhow, hey, I'm I'm glad to be with you guys this morning. Um, I'm not sure this. Hopefully, this is working. My this whole thing has been doing weird things. So anyhow, good morning. So here we are. Uh, Dave's devos with not necessarily with Dave uh, today. Uh, so my devos are typically typically based in something that God is you know trying to teach me, confirm in me where He wants to bless me. Uh, and this morning is no different. Now, the past few weeks of my life have been heavily, heavily rooted in community, and even more so than usual. Uh, for example, last Sunday, we had our last community table event. Um, and those don't happen without many sets of hands and feet, right? There's the people who plan and advertise and market the event. There are people at the event who guide traffic, who take orders, run orders to the cars, give away free loaves of bread, uh, fervently pray over the uh, event while it's happening. Um, people who are preparing the food, dishing it out, you know, cleaning it up. Lots and lots of hands and feet. Um, but there's another part of that community too that you think about all those people who come together to serve. They're the people who are being served. They're part of that community as well. Because uh, it wouldn't happen without them, you know. So um, as much as we would like to think that we are serving, uh, we can also see that God um, blesses us by those people who receive. Because if any of those people or any of you who are out there who, who have been at a community table event know uh, that when you see the faces of the people in the cars uh, who come get the meals and their thankfulness and the smiles on their faces and all that stuff, that is a blessing to us. So from the people who are serving the meals and preparing those things to the people who are receiving it, that is all one big community and God is active in the entire community. Um, when, my, when, when God first told my wife that she needed to start community table and really he, what, the, the vision he gave her was that he wanted her to create a, a sense of community within our community, within our town, within the surrounding towns and but he also told her that she couldn't do it alone that she needed a a group of or a community of people to come together to help her because she was all ready out of the gate to just throw our grills in the back of a truck and bring them to a parking lot get some other people involved and we're just gonna start serving hamburgers and hot dogs to anybody who wanted them but this group of people that came along with her said slow down there big shooter <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than just that. And so after a lot of research and after a lot of meetings, uh, it finally organized as a nonprofit. Um, and many months into that, they, we were able, able to hold our, our first meeting, our first meal, I should say. And then we've been going ever since. So, but that community of people uh, was important to to really see God glorified through everything. So, and then there's there's another example of community. So uh, yesterday, uh, my wife is real. I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. This may be my very last Dave's Devo, just so you guys know, because yesterday was my wife's birthday, and uh, I've been telling everybody uh, that yesterday was my wife's birthday, and <laughs> I might be in trouble. No, I'm just saying. So, uh, but. It was a milestone birthday, and one of those milestone birthdays where it's appropriate to have, you know, a surprise gathering. So uh, a few weeks ago, there was a community of people who got together uh, to start the, uh, the misdirection, the deceitfulness, the lying. <laughs> uh, kidding, not kidding, uh, but I, I did confess all of those sins to my wife last night. But it was a community of people who had different responsibilities, and we all came together uh, at one event to be able to show Amy a small glimpse of how much God loves her by all these people who would work so hard to honor her on, on her 29th birthday. And, but it's just another, another example of, of community. And we can continue to see community all around us, right? We can see community in, uh, if we go think about our church services on a Sunday morning, 
there's all different types of people doing all different types of things that put that whole thing together so that we can come together as a church family. And even in our day, daily walks, our daily journeys through life, uh, whether we work in ministry or work in a secular community, uh, we are together with people working towards something that's bigger than ourselves. And what God has shown me about community is, is A, community is super, super important, right? We, we should not be doing things alone. We should be doing it in community. Um, and the other thing he's shown me uh, time and time again is that we are healthier in community than we are when we're not. Um, if there's, there's four people gathered together, that community of believers is healthier than if there only three of them existed because that fourth person brings in their unique talents and gifts from God to make that little community stronger. And you can multiply it out. There are eight people, 12 people, 100 people, whatever it might look like. We are healthier together because we each have the unique gifts and talents that God's given us to make that particular body stronger. So community is super important. So my, my challenge for us today, what I want people to think about is look around you and where is your community and what are we doing individually in our own hearts to glorify God in that community? We may not be working together or in a particular group of people that are believers, but we can still bring God into that place. We can still glorify him in that unified group of people marching towards whatever bigger goal is. Uh, we can still bring God into that and glorify him through it. So we need to think about our community and think about what our role is in that community and it changes right our family is a community our work is a community our church is a community there it goes on so but we have a purpose in each of those communities and we should ask god what our purpose is in that because we can glorify him and in his economy in god's economy he can multiply whatever it is that we're doing because we are investing in him and we are uh, intentionally trying to glorify him so community is the word of today um, and we would be um, amiss if we didn't bring scripture into it. So, of course, we got to do that. And shout out to my friend Tony White because it's out of the book of Romans. <laughs> so Romans 12, 4 and 5 says, In the human body there are many parts and organs, each with a unique function. And so it is in the body of Christ. For though we are many, we've all been mingled into one body in Christ. This means that we are all vitally joined to one another with each contributing to the other. So church, people, whoever is out watching this, hearing this, uh, look for your community today. Uh, I hope this blesses you. We should, you know what we should do? We should pray about community before uh, we sign off. So Father God, we, we thank you that you've given us community. We thank you that we are individually part of a bigger uh, group of people in different aspects of our lives. And we know that you love us and you, we know that you want to teach us and you want to guide us and you want us to know our purpose in each of those communities that we're involved in. So, Father, I ask you today to use your Holy Spirit to help us understand what our role is in the communities that we interact in. Can we make those communities stronger by the gifts that you've given us? So I pray that for each each of us out there, that you would give us that purpose, that you would bless us by helping us know what our purpose is in our communities. We thank you, God, for today, for the beautiful, sunshiny, warm spring day that we are going to have, at least up here in Minnesota. Um, so we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory for the little adventure, the little journey that we're going to go on today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, church, you all have a great day.